One of the very first steps of SEO is keyword research, knowing what words to use on your website. And I am going to show you my favorite free keyword research tool in this video, because I have a lot of clients and people in my community who want to work on their SEO, but because they don't do SEO full time like I do, they don't necessarily want to pay for a keyword research tool every single month. So this is my favorite and I'm actually going to show you um, the free version and the paid version so you can kind of compare and see what you get from each. So this is a tool called Hrefs and it is a paid SEO tool that a lot of people like me use, but they do have a free version of their keyword research tool. So I've gone ahead and already have a um, phrase typed in and you'll see here we have the results. So on the left is all the keywords and related phrases that pulled up. And then the KD is the keyword difficulty and you'll see it just says hard, medium, and then typically sometimes it also says easy. And this is telling you the difficulty, meaning how many other people are also competing to rank for this word making it more difficult <laughs> because if you have a million people trying to rank their website for how to build a website it's going to be pretty difficult versus you know something less common like i always give a random example like broccoli cupcakes <laughs> that might be a lot less competition uh it won't have it might also not have as much search but it'll be less competitive meaning it's easier for you to get your site to the top of page one. Um, and then you'll also see the volume. Now, the free tool only gives you the range. It doesn't give you a specific number of volume or a specific number in terms of difficulty. Um, so I wanted to show you this free version, and it is pretty accurate, um, but I wanted to also show you the paid version, like I mentioned. So if we switch over, you can see I searched the same thing. And again, we have how to build a website, still red, but you can see it's a 96. It's on a scale out of uh, zero to 100. So <laughs> it is nearly 100. So it is going to be very, very difficult for you to rank for this. Um, and then in search volume, you can see 11,000, um, whereas this just said greater than 10,000. Um, I'm pretty sure in the free tool, it will only ever say greater than 10,000. Maybe it goes up to over 100,000. I'm not sure. Um, so you can see it is pretty accurate. Build a website, also red, <laughs> 9.8 thousand. This just says over a thousand. So you don't fully know when it says over a thousand, does that mean it's only, it's 1100? Is it 9,000? <laughs> we don't really know, but you at least have that information that, okay, there is at least a thousand people searching this every single month. So, um, and then updated, this is just telling you when is last time that Ahrefs updated this data. So that's what that means. So I want to show you another example just to kind of see. So I'm going to do business coach and then hop over here. And the nice part about the free keyword generator is you don't even have to have an account and there's not a daily limit. So there are a lot of other keyword research tools but one, they make you log in and have an account. Um, and we all know that means you're getting added to their email list. And a lot of them also have like, you can only do three searches a day or something. And Ahrefs does not do that. So that's also really nice. So again, business coach, hard difficulty, over a thousand searches a month. If we come over here, now this does say yellow instead of red. So there is a slight discrep discrepancy there. Um, and then search volume, 6,000. So again, we have no idea if it says <laughs> over 1,000 searches a month, if it's going to be 1,100 or 6,000, 9,000, but we at least know there is a lot of search. And then down here, you can see how to become a business coach is ranked as easy, but less than 100 searches a day. And then um, if I come down here, how to become a business coach, easy, very, very easy. 
six, <laughs> which is almost zero, and then 250 searches. So again, a little bit of a discrepancy. Um, why this discrepancy happens between the free and the paid tool, not quite sure, but I do feel like it's reliable enough and very, very close that I do recommend this. So when you are doing your keyword research, ideally you want to have um, keywords that are ranked as easy. And I like more than a hundred. I typically, which you would know this information if you're only using the free tool, I like to tell my clients, let's try and aim for at least three to 500 searches a month. Not to say that anything around 100 or 200 is worthless, but if we are spending the time to research and write and create this blog post and you know put a lot of effort into it, we wanna get the most eyeballs that we can on it. Now, if you are in a very specific niche, I know a lot of times niche topics can have lower search. Doesn't mean you shouldn't use them. Like don't spend all your time just searching for a term that has 500 <laughs> searches a month. Um, that's ideal. But think about like if you had 60 people in a room, that would still be a good audience that you're speaking to. So don't discount like, oh man, it only has 60 searches a month. It's just if we can try to get more search volume, that's more eyes on your website. So um, there's a link down to the free keyword generator down in the description if you wanna test it out for yourself. And um, if you have any SEO questions, let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see y'all next time.